Okay, I'm gonna do a uh, couple of exercises here. We're gonna stack leg exercises, one on top of the other. Lunging exercises, two of them. Quads, glutes, hamstrings. 10 to 14 reps of the first, which are step ups. Eight to 10 reps of the second, which are reverse lunges, both weighted, holding on the dumbbells. What you need to remember here is that um, you need to choose a weight that will get you to the bottom end of the range, so 10 reps, but will not let you exceed the top end, which is 14 reps over here, for example, and eight to 10 here. So a weighted step up in this exercise is really only good if you have a lot of stability. Bear that in mind, okay? You need stability for this exercise. If you don't have that much stability, you can grab a heavier dumbbell. So these are 10 pound dumbbells. I could grab a 20 pound dumbbell, keep my hand near the banister here and do step ups, okay? Same with lunges. When I'm doing lunges, I wanna make sure when I'm doing them that I'm not wavering from side to side, that I have the strength I need to be able to complete the movement, okay? So, let's go over the form of a step up. If you can, choose a step. If you're in a gym, you can choose a bench, you can choose a plyo box, you can choose anything you put your foot up on. If you're working out at home, you can choose stairs. I actually like stairs because you get different height options, okay? This one, second stair, my uh, thigh is parallel to the ground. That's a good range of motion for me, okay? I lean forward so that my weight is on this foot. Try not to launch with this back foot as much as possible and use this one to come up with, okay? So I stay on the heel of this foot as much as I can, leaning forward, and I come up, come back down, and then I change feet. Lean forward, come up, come back down slowly. That's one rep, okay? Core is tight, back is straight, my shoulder blades are pulled together, and my head is looking straight forward. I can bend over, but I don't slouch. Lunges. Very similar, I keep the same tight core, back straight, I step back, stay on the heel of this foot, drive this knee down to the ground, come up, come forward. And the opposite, that's one rep, okay? Again, I don't wanna be wavering side to side. So I'm gonna do the first one, 10 to 14 reps. And then I'm gonna do the second one, eight to 10 reps. And believe you me, your legs are going to be on fire by the time you're done. That's the point. Okay, we want to build lactate levels in order to grow muscle. I'm only going to do a few reps of each just to demonstrate it, but imagine that I have enough weight, like I said, to get to 10 repetitions, but it won't let me go past 14. And enough weight to get to 8, but it won't let me go past 10. Okay? So with the dumbbells, if I'm confident in my stabilities enough, I lean forward, I come up, and down. Unstable there. Okay, check that. Up, down, up, down. That's two reps. Okay, this is only half a rep. That's three reps. Okay, so I'm going to do 10 to 14. Again, enough weight that I can't actually do the 14, or I finish at 14, and then I'm immediately going to grab the lighter weights and go into dumbbell lunge, reverse lunge. That's half. There's a rep. Breathe in, out. In, out. Two reps. Three reps, all the way up to eight to 10. Same kind of breathing here, by the way. Sorry, I forgot to tell you about the breathing. Breathe in, out. In, out. Okay? So great stack. Your legs are gonna be on fire when you're done. Short rest, you do it again. Really great to build some muscle in the quads, glutes, and hamstrings.